Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Mark Lee. I'm super pumped to be here today. And if you don't recognize me, that's because I just joined the Locofy team as a product manager. So you'll be seeing a lot of me in the upcoming Locofy videos. And oh boy, do we have a whole bunch of exciting things to talk about in this video. So let's get started. Alrighty, so the Locofy team has been hits down building some incredible features and improvements that will really benefit teams and make your workflow even more efficient. We'll be giving a quick overview on everything we've recently launched, and the theme for all these launches is collaboration and efficiency. So the first feature that I wanna talk about is something that's been highly requested, especially by larger teams. So if you already have a design system that you or your team has been working with, you're gonna to wanna to hear this. You can now connect and reuse custom components into Locofy via CLI, GitHub, and of course, Storybook. Locofy will always reuse code components and generate new code for non-existing components. So whether you're starting a new project or working on an existing Locofy project, you have three options for connecting your component libraries and local AI will automatically map those components to your components in Figma. Alrighty, so this next one I'm super excited about. This is something I've personally wanted to see in Localfy for quite a while now. So I'm someone who frequently creates complex prototypes with a ton of frames. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna love this next improvement. So local AI now automatically detects all the connected frames in your prototype without you having to manually select them one by one. So this is what it looks like the next time you try to localfy your prototype. A prompt will appear asking you if you want to convert all the connected frames to the selected frame. So this is gonna save you a whole bunch of time. This is another quality of life improvement. Don't you just hate it when you make these tiny edits on your Figma design and you have to re-localfy your entire project all over again? It takes a long time, it's unnecessary. So Locofy is now smart enough to detect any edits you make to your Figma design and only regenerate the code for those edited layers. So this is what you'll see the next time that happens in your Locofy plugin. After you make those edits, it will show you that a number of edits have been detected and it will prompt you if you want to regenerate the code for just those edited layers or just view your old code. Okay, this one is a big one. If you're working with your team on different sections of the same design file, you no longer have to localify the entire design. Now you can just localify the section that you're working on and filter out only your work in the localify builder. This means that you and your team won't get confused when working on different parts of the design. Local AI will do all the work for you and automatically merge that. There's a lot to unpack in this feature, so be sure to check out our deep dive video on this. There's a link in the description below. Last but not least, we know designs keep changing and development is an iterative process. So instead of having to sync your project to the Locofy Builder first and then to GitHub, you can now sync directly to GitHub straight from the plugin for a much faster workflow. Awesome, so I know that was a ton of announcements in this video, so let it all sync in. What I've just shown is a quick high level overview of everything we've just launched. And yes, these features and improvements are already live, so you can try them out right now. If you wanna deep dive into anything that I've mentioned, be sure to check out the individual deep dive videos that are already up on our YouTube channel. We've also included links in the description below. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, join our Discord channel. All right, see you guys in the next one.